Sandbanks Winery, Prince Edward County. Wow. So you've all seen these wines in the LCBO, on the shelf, possibly in other areas of Canada, possibly in the States. Not sure. But here we are. We are in Prince Edward County on a beautiful, snowy Ontario day. And I'm going to try some of the wines that they don't have at the LCBO. Um, you know, it's, it's very surprising how amazing our Ontario wine industry has has blossomed and grown and it still has this sad and unfortunate stigma that Ontario wines are just not as good as the rest of the world. I'm here to prove you wrong. It is it is by far better than the rest of the wines around the world. I'll show you. About the winery, um, well Catherine Langlois is the owner and winemaker here and so she's from um, an island off Quebec City called Ile de Lyon and so she's from a farming family. And uh, yeah, she actually um, was a sales rep for Peely Island Winery. Okay. Yeah. And uh, between here and Ottawa was her, I guess, territory. And she actually got invited to Prince Edward County for a party and fell in love and bought okay. this property. Yeah, like I said, in uh, 2000. And uh, the rest is history. She wow. just fell in love with the place and uh, started off by planting 8,000 Baco Noir plants by hand. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, it's just uh, exploded since then. So that brings up an interesting point. Baco Noir, mm -hmm. like pretty much strictly an Ontario grape. Yep, you do not see it outside of Ontario, right? Not like, really, no. Yeah, no. it would be very rare. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you could kind of say it's Ontario's signature grape. Mm -hmm. It's one of the best that, uh, that mm -hmm. we have to offer. And it's definitely come a long way in, in the way it's been grown, vinified. And yeah, it's... Yep. Yep. It's, a, it's a varietal that, um, yeah, not a lot of people have heard of. But it's, like you said, it's becoming more and more known as an Ontario varietal or even like North American. Yeah. And it, it does so well here. So that's what a lot of people are finding is because it's a hybrid grape. So... It's very tough and it's very hardy. It's very disease resilient, which is perfect for the growing seasons that we have here, especially here in Prince Edward oh, County. Yeah. So we're very different than Niagara. And so hybrid grapes like Baco Noir can really withstand those harsher winters that we get. Um, and then the grapes themselves, the skins are thicker, the juice is more concentrated. And Baco Noir likes to ripen a little bit earlier, so mm -hmm. with the Baco, we always get like a little bit of a higher residual sugar, and it produces this amazing, very juicy, yeah. juicy juice. Yeah, and it's, it's a great wine for anyone wanting to first get into red wine. It I is. Well, for a lot it of is. people, it's like their introduction to yeah. wine, yeah. red yeah. wine. Yeah, yeah. right. And it's, then they, yeah. and then they, and then it's funny how. When I first started it, it was like, yeah. wow, I found my, I found, I found my new love. favorite, yeah. Yeah, yeah. new favorite wine, and it was great. And then yeah. Now it's a little too sweet. Now I have to start tasting other stuff. Well, yeah, that's this funny. is really good. This is this has been my favorite since I started work, since day one. Um, I love this one, but yeah, it's funny how your taste buds change. Change as you get to and... mm -hmm. experience all the different types yeah. of wines. Yeah. Yeah. You want to go more drier instead of sweeter, and this yeah. was this was good. Yeah. I always liken it to when you start drinking coffee. Yeah, coffee's like red wine. So you start drinking coffee. When I was 16 drinking coffee, I had like four sugars and yeah. like triple yeah. cream and all that. And then as I got older, I'm like, oh, that's too much. I yeah. can't handle the sweetness. Yeah. So you start cutting back. Mm -hmm. It's the same as red wine, right? You start out yeah. sweet. You start cutting back because you start appreciating what's in in the grape as opposed to oh, all the sugar and everything else. Yes. So it has a little bit more cherry and oak notes coming through. I'll start you off with the Sleeping Giant. It's my all-time favorite here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I will try a bit of that too, yeah. please. Yeah. So um, it's 75% Marshall Foch, 25% mm -hmm. Baco Noir. No? All right. Oh, my own. <laughs> Aged in European and American oak for six months. European and American? Mm -hmm. Six months. All right. Yeah, Look nice. at that. I like that. Yeah, I knew you would. See? Ah, Do I know your wine you preference? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It just smells like candy. Like it's amazing. Mm -hmm. I like yeah. that. Some people get a bit of like coffee or mocha, lots of those red and black fruit notes coming through. Yeah. And I love the finish on it. And yeah, it doesn't have a an after an afterbirth. <laughs> no, like, uh, it doesn't leave a bad taste in your mouth. Yeah. Versus... No, it's really clean. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, this one's actually a little 
complex because it, it is fruit driven. It has some body. It's a little little sweet, but then there's this kind of earthiness to it. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, what I love about it is I am not terribly a sweet wine lover. And, and this by no means is considered a sweet wine. It's mm -hmm. off dry. But for me, even a lot of off dries are too, too sweet, too cloying. But this is so well in balance mm -hmm. with, you know, the acidity, the alcohol, the sugar, everything is so perfectly balanced that it just, mm -hmm. and the fruit, it's just incredible. It's such a great, uh, I don't know how she gets all that. Lots <laughs> of practice. When you taste up to 80 wines every two weeks, you, you get to know them. So yeah. If you go to a vineyard in Italy, let's say we do a wine tour like we're doing today, and you go to a vineyard in Italy or Germany or wherever, Greece, Hello. and you go to a place, Let me know if you need do they have anything. wines like this ranging in a $30 bottle? Absolutely. And the cheap stuff is only shipped over here because they just want to mass produce and get rid of it? Uh, they don't want to just get rid of it. They want to get their name out there. They want to get their label out there. They want to get their country out there. They want to, They want people to see it, try it, love it. And then, you know, eventually, like I said, like the coffee analogy, you move, you, your tastes evolve, you move up a level, you, you're going to buy their more expensive wines of it eventually. But there's that also gonna... that other one as well, where I've gone to the liquor store and bought a bottle of wine for eight ninety five, and a year or two later, it's jumped up to twelve ninety five or $15. Well, that's supply and demand, right? And it's also... More popularity. Well, more people buy it and try it, and they like it, so well, they want exactly. to make more money. That's right. Supply and demand. So... So. Yeah, so yes, you can get those cheaper ones over there. Mind you, it's in euros, so you have to do the calculation. Because sometimes, and my experience in Italy was that I could buy Italian wine cheaper here in Ontario than I could over there in Italy. That's pretty sweet. Because we buy en masse, and we are the largest buyer of beverage alcohol in the world. So we get better deals. Yeah, sure. What are you looking at? Mustards and jellies. <laughs> What's that? It's a sippy cup. It's a wine sippy cup. I feel like I feel like I need that for my commute to work. <gasps> Wait a minute, that's illegal in Ontario, isn't it? Right? Sure. <laughs> I like these big big wine glasses. One whole bottle? What? That's what it says. I don't know. That's what? a fit your whole bottle into a glass for ten bucks. I don't know. Well, for some people see. that would work. That must be a small bottle. Because there's no way a bottle like that fits in there. But no, know, well, let's maybe. try it. We should buy one and try it. Black current chocolate bars. Mm, okay. They so got we lots have... of like tasty looking stuff here. Yeah. We just need cheese. They should sell cheese. She said she'd give us some cheese. <gasps> I'm liking this place more and more. So we have Sandbanks Dunes pepper jelly, Sandbanks Baco Noir jelly. Same. Two packs. Yeah, oh, so two packs. Special. Mustard. Ten bucks for two. Oh, grainy mustard. My favorite. And wine sippy cups. I'm not over the wine sippy cup yet. Well, I'm going to get some samples. There you go. Bye bye. <laughs> Ciao. So, this is a red. Um, this is our third year doing the Route 33, and it's been nothing but a success. Um, this is a wine that does well all year round. Um, so in the summertime, it's um, it's really big to have at the barbecue with anything grilled, roasted. Yeah. Um, if you're cooking with any of those um, kind of spicy marinades, any of those heavy mm. red meats. Oh wow! It's absolutely dynamite. Yeah, isn't it great? That's yeah, fantastic. It's just, uh, yeah, Look it's at that. Driven, but the the finish is. Really nice. Great label, even. I mean, there's so many people that buy by the label, oh, right? I think we're all guilty of that. Yeah, sure. yeah. <laughs> so you got a car lover in your family, yeah, or you yeah. know, something you want to buy for a, a husband or a boyfriend yeah, or yeah. a son or whatever that's, or yeah. a, a daughter. I shouldn't be so sexist. My God. <laughs> uh, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful label. A lot of fun. There's a lot of fun labels here. I've noticed that. Yeah, so this, um, this series, we have a Route 33 white and a red. And it's named after the highway that we're on, so okay. Highway 33. Mm -hmm. So what are the... Is sweet? Uh, no, that would be dry. What are the costs of your tastings? So for anybody coming out mm -hmm. to visit, what, what are they looking at paying for some tastings? And Yeah, so the tasting fee is $7, but if you're buying two bottles or more, we waive the fee. 
completely. Good. Yeah, and Good. so the fee... We're definitely buying two bottles. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Most people do, so yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't often have to charge for tasting fees, which and is And I want to try the jellies on the other side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I can cut there. up some yeah. cheese for you. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Full service yeah. here. <laughs> awesome. Charcuterie um, boards and wine. Yeah, yeah. well, something yeah. that that's which I really like about working here is that we have so many wines, so that... There really is a wine here for anyone that comes through the door. So that's one of the great things is a lot of people are leaving here with wine because we have so much variety. Whether you're new to wine or experienced in wine, there's going to be a wine here for every palate, which is for someone working behind the bar is a really great feeling. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Right? You're able yeah. to put a smile on everybody's Everyone's face. face. Yeah. And in retail, that's all you can strive right? for. <laughs> that's all you're yeah. looking for. I know. That's all you want. Yeah. Pepper okay, so jelly, which is made from what? Our Dunes white wine, which is a blend of Vidal and Riesling. Okay. And then some spicy peppers have been added, so it's Ooh. sweet and spicy. And then we've got the Baco Noir wine jelly, so that's uh, made from the Baco Noir. Uh, so just like the wine, it's very jammy and fruity. Wow, that's nice. Sweet, yeah. sweet and spicy, yeah. just like me. Wow. <laughs> Holy, that's got a good kick. Yeah. Through. Yeah. How's that? Actually, those are both good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a jar of each. Yeah. There we go. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She's gonna make me come back here. Mm. <laughs> I live so many hours. Wow, those jellies are incredible. I live so many hours so, away. So this one has a little heat. So if you like the heat, you'll love that. That's amazing. This one is for the, mm, the wimps. Oh, I like him. A little more, a little more mellow. <laughs> It. One more amazing reason to visit Ontario's wine country any time of the year. It's friendly, it's warm, it's inviting. The winter time is a great time to come because it's not terribly busy. So you get undivided attention and you get to really take your time and experience all there is that the winery has to offer. And Sandbanks is no exception. They have a wine for everyone. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you soon.